Welcome guys, I'm so happy you can join me for this next Black Ops 3 video and in this video I've been having a real good laugh with the brass knuckles I'll, I'll explain a little bit more very shortly guys but first of all I just want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers who on the last video when I made the top 10 axe call gave me so many good ideas that I'm going to put them all into practice over the weeks coming and we're going to make some more top 10 videos on what you want to see. So I'll keep you all up to date with what's going on with all that, guys, as the weeks go on. But in this one last night, I did have fun with the brass knuckles, as I said. I've never used them before. It, it wasn't a supply drop that I got them many months ago. Never thought about using them, but because I was thinking of ideas to come up with top 10s, top 5s, I thought, yeah, I'll have a practice with them, see what becomes of it. And I never had so much fun in all my life, guys. I believe I'm the only YouTuber so far to do this, so hopefully I can start a bit of a craze going. But this is the setup that I would recommend that you use if you're going to go for a record yourself. Now what I mean by the record is we're going to see how many spins that we can do behind an enemy before we get the brass knuckle kill on them. Okay, that was the idea. Now this is the setup that I had. Just use your brass knuckles. You can have the smoke screen on if you want. But the perks are very important because they are what are going to keep you nice and stealthy behind the enemy. So that's going to allow you to do as many spins as you possibly can. Now you will see, um, this is a top 5 guys, but you will see at the end I do manage 10 spins. That's my best so far. So I want you guys to try this yourself and see how many spins you get. But I want to see evidence, I want to see the videos guys. Now in this first one, this is where it all started. I was having a laugh with the brass knuckles, thinking of other ideas like I said I can do for top 5, top 10 videos. And I just, out of the blue, started to kind of spin on this next um, enemy that comes in the room. And, I, and then it kind of made me think, yeah, maybe I could try and do more. I wanted to aim for more spins, you know. I wanted to obviously to make it a challenge for myself. But on this occasion, I kind of spun around twice. And then I, it just hit me. I just thought, yeah, let's try and get more spins if we can. Let's see if we can uh, get at least to five. That's the amount I wanted to go to originally, just five, after that getting the couple of spins. And on this one, we didn't actually manage more than that. So this is number four. I've placed this at number four, guys. But you can see here, we do get at least seven spins. We take one of the enemy out. And, uh, you know, it is quite funny, guys. Yes, it will make you dizzy. And you can have your sensitivity quite high if you want to. So the more sensitivity you have, the more quicker you're going to be turning around and doing that brass knuckle spin is what I call it. But on this one, this is a really good one, guys. This is number three. I'm thinking whether I should have put this at number one because it is a really good hit, this one. But we get eight spins, plus we get the hit straight after. So that was an accurate brass knuckle spin here. That's the way I would like to do it. And the great thing about it is, straight away, the enemy came in the room who I just got with the brass knuckles, and I got him again with the brass knuckles. So he must have been enraged, especially when watching his kill come back with me spinning like a lunatic behind him. But look at this guy. It is so much fun. But like I said, hopefully I've come up with a brilliant idea here that I'm going to get all of you, you know, in that craze, in that zone of spinning around behind the enemy, which is really a good laugh anyway, and seeing how many spins you can do before you take the enemy out with the brass knuckles. So as you can see there, guys, it is a real whole heap of fun. Now on this next one, we're back on the Nuketown map again. We're right at the start of the game. This is where now the spins start to get a little bit more higher because I was getting used to it, I was working it out, and it did take me a while last night, guys, to try and get these big spins. Obviously, you need the game to work right as well. You need the enemies, obviously, camping in those rooms. And you'll find as well that the, 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 the enemy that are in the rooms longer, who are camping, you know, you'll have more chance and more availability to do the bigger spins behind them because they're not going to move so quickly, whereas some really do move quite quick. Now, this was my record last night, guys. Remember, I only had one night's worth of gameplay to do this, so I'm going to now try and put this into practice a bit more. But I managed 10 spins and then took the enemy out. So this is the record that you need to try and beat, guys, at the moment, okay? This is my personal record. I got 10 spins and then took him out with the brass knuckles. So hopefully, like I said, guys, you know, I've started something here. I don't know any other YouTubes who have done this so far. This is my personal own idea. I found it quite funny myself, so hopefully you guys will find this funny as well. The great thing about this number one video, why well, I put it at number one, is because he didn't even see me land down there in the first place, but this was the biggest amount of spins that I got before I took him out. Yes, I would have liked to have got the hit on straight after the 10th spin, but sometimes it doesn't work like that because you get so dizzy, you don't really know where they are. But again, that is the fun of it, guys. It was just more fun as well, because you can see me there trying to get the hit. I must have been millimeters away from him. 
But then he turns around, he just sees me the last moment, but it's too late, and we smack him in the face with those brass knuckles. So we got to 10 spins, guys. See, see if you can beat it. Go out there, do this yourself. It is a whole heap of fun, as I said before. Now, just to end the video, I'm going to leave you some outro videos, some failed spins with the brass knuckles, but also, if you are in, in wondering, if you want to take a power core out, guys, with your brass knuckles, it takes 12 hits, okay? So there's something for your information there. And now I'm going to leave you just with some failed attempts. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully I've started a craze. Get out there and get this yourself. And let me know how many spins you can get before you get the brass knuckle kills. But remember, you've got to give me a video as well, guys. I need to see evidence. And try and beat my 10 spins, okay? But take care, guys. I'm going to leave you with it now. Um, don't forget, I've got lots more other videos on calling cards, on getting your weapons to that diamond camo so you can get on your journey with the to the dark matter camo. We've got every single weapon there I've made a video on. And also every single hero outfit, we've got that as well. We've got loads of supply drop videos as well. I've actually got another 1,700 crypto keys I'm up to now, which I've been waiting for the new weapons and gear to come out. Then we're going to have a massive supply drop opening. So keep tuned for that, guys, as that will happen very soon. But take care, guys, and thank you so much for watching. Peace out.